So as we get into talking about hair manipulation and training, I came across this new trend, this new chemical um, on TikTok. It's called the Gina Curl. Not to be confused with the Jerry Curl, but the Gina Curl. And never heard of it. I, I think the first time I seen this was late, late 2021. So late last year sometime. That is when I came across a video with the young lady getting a Gina Curl. It turned out very pretty. I went online. I looked it up. Just, to, just curious to see what it is because never heard of this. Hers was very pretty and I saw some that I... Some pictures I didn't really like. Some of them looked like a, a texturizer that was left in too long. Like some of it was a little curly, then some of it was a little straight. It, it. I guess it depends on who who did your hair because everyone wasn't created equal. And typically, there it's people that have four C hair that get this Gina curl because what it does is that it loosens your hair and it gives you that looser ringlet we talk about with the four with the three type hair and maybe the 4a hair it gives you that kind of look so basically the definition of what the Gina curl is it says that this is from their website and it says the Gina Curl restructures the hair molecules to reduce frizz volume, making the hair softer, smoother, shinier with a curl that is more manageable, soft, shiny, and moisture balanced. So it's a chemical. Basically, it's a chemical you put in your hair to curl your hair. Pretty much sounds like a perm and not a relaxer, but you know, the perm that curls your hair. Um, but I really don't know the process of how to put a perm in, but the process of the Gina curl, I kind of saw how it goes. You do have to put the, uh, perm rods in. I believe I saw, um, on TikTok. So it says the first step is using a chemical curl reformer. So it breaks down the protein chains in the hair to allow it to take on the new shape. So. I seen that and I and I and I thought it was cute. Um, however, when I went on the website, I just felt like there were too many cons. And now, don't get it twisted. You do your hair how you want to do your hair, and a lot of people do it because they feel like it's you know this will make their hair more manageable. But for me personally, I feel like the cons. The cons just it's it's the cons are too big for me. They're too they're it's because here goes here goes the con. So basically, uh well I don't know if this is a con, but it depends on how often you like to wash your hair. And I'm not gonna act like I wash my hair every three days. But they said wash your hair every three to four days to keep the shedding down. No brushing, no finger detangling, because you know how we like to detangle our hair and things like that it says uh be mindful of how much products are used so you don't want to use too many products in your hair too much will create buildup breakage and shedding and that's the same with color and you have your styling is very limited so limited protective styles if you put braids in your hair it can stay in no longer than two weeks and now y'all know how much they're charging to per char uh, for braids nowadays. Ain't no way I'm only keeping them braids in two weeks. And you cannot straighten your hair and you definitely cannot blow dry your hair. So they, they're, to, so basically it's like your hair is pretty almost stationary. And every picture that I see, they're pretty much just leaving their hair out. Not too much ponytails because you know if you put your hair in a ponytail, you're pushing your hair back and you're manipulating it and keeping it straight and you have to brush it. So really, it's just you're just going to pretty much be wearing your hair in one style. So I, it might be softer, but you can't really do nothing with it. So if you want to keep one style, then maybe that's for you. Maybe that works out for you. But um, I, I don't know. I, I just... I don't know, but hey, to each his own. Not knocking anyone and what they want to do. Do what you want to do. Um.